Hi everyone, I'm Aaron from The Hungry Hutch and today we're going to be making buttermilk biscuits. These are much better than anything you can get out of the can and not that much more work. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are intimidated when it comes to biscuits, uh, but biscuits are kind of hard to F up if you have the right recipe. And today I have the right recipe to share with you. In terms of ingredients, all you need are flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, butter, and buttermilk, and sugar. Well, with baking and bread in particular, you want to be a little bit more precise in terms of the measurements of your ingredients, because if you put in a tablespoon instead of a teaspoon of baking soda, that can throw things off a lot, and it'll uh, give you a very different result than what you're expecting. Time to make some biscuits. To start, we're gonna mix all of our dry ingredients, and that's the flour, baking powder, baking soda, sugar, and salt. So just dump those all into a bowl after you measure them accurately. Mix it up a little bit so that everything is sort of evenly dispersed, and then we're gonna move on to adding our butter. So we're using two whole sticks of butter, cut it into small cubes, and add it to the dry ingredients. And then I like to mix it up with my hands a little bit to just help make sure it's broken up. And then I take a pastry cutter and cut the butter into the dry ingredients. And you wanna do this until the butter is like no bigger than a pea, I would say. Because it's those like nice, large-ish chunks of butter that'll help melt and give you all the nice layers that you're looking for in the biscuits. Add the buttermilk, mix it together with a spoon or your hands if you wanna get messy. Mix it together and until it starts to form a dough, you don't want to like knead it too much because then that will make the biscuits tough and like a hockey puck and nobody likes that. Just mix it a little bit together. There will still be some like dry pieces of flour at the bottom of the bowl. That's fine because we're going to roll it out next and that will incorporate all of the extra flour that's in the bowl. Start by sprinkling a little bit of flour on the countertop just to make sure nothing gets stuck to the board. Um, and it'll help us later on down the road when we try to move the biscuits into the pan. You also want to sprinkle a little bit of uh, flour on top as well to also help with the sticky situation. I like to start by using my hands to shape it a little bit in the beginning just to make sure it all comes together. And then take your rolling pin or an empty wine bottle in this case and you want to roll it out until it's about a foot wide and then you're going to start folding it in over itself into thirds and you're going to do this process two to three times. What the folding does is it helps create more and more of those layers of the butter and the flour and then that creates the flakiness which we all are looking for in the biscuits. We want flaky biscuits people. Be sure to not press down too hard. You want to be a little bit delicate. Be gentle with the dough. Um, don't abuse it. For the last step we're going to roll it out one last time and you want it to be about three quarters to an inch thick. And then all you have to do now is cut them up and put them in the oven. So I used a three inch wide glass that I just have around. Um, if you have a biscuit cutter, good for you, I don't have them. Whatever you decide to use to cut out your biscuits, it helps to add a little bit of flour to it to once again just prevent from sticking to the glass. Put them on or in whatever pan you decide to use in a 450 degree oven for about 18 minutes for biscuits of this size. There'll be a nice golden color on top. And with the cast iron skillet, what I like about it is that it'll also get a nice golden brown crust on the bottom. Whether you're putting them on a baking sheet or in a cast iron skillet, that doesn't really matter. It's more so about the size of the biscuits. <laughs> These biscuits will last for about two to three days. You can actually make the dough ahead of time, the night before, put it in the fridge, and then just take it out in the morning, pop it in the oven, and it works perfectly fine. See, biscuits aren't that scary after all, and they are definitely worth the effort. These will be a million times better than anything you get from the refrigerated section at your local supermarket.
That's it. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Aaron, and you can find me and more of my recipes on thehungryhutch.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you want to follow me there for delicious food inspiration. And of course, be sure to like Blavity on Facebook, follow them on Instagram, and subscribe on YouTube so that you can stay up to date on all the latest videos and recipes. Thanks for watching. Stay hungry.